Hello there. What's good? It's your boy, the blackest of mics. And this is the Black Mike TV. No, it's actually not the Black Mike TV. Uh, you should subscribe to the Black Mike TV, which is my YouTube channel. But this is what they call Who Got the Ox? And uh, this is Who Got the Ox? Not only just that episode, what it is, is Who Got the Ox episode 17, 18. We on episode 18 right now. That's crazy. So we've been doing this. Willie, was good, bro? So we've been doing this for 18 weeks. Probably even more because I know we had like a little hiccup one of them. One of them past shows where it just didn't save. Anyway, we've been at this for 18 weeks. And if you're not familiar with what this is, this platform is called Who Got the Aux, where I pass you, the viewer, listener, creative, producer, artist, the auxiliary chords so that you can play your music, your music to be listened to, to be enjoyed by my platform, this platform, and even critiqued by me, a seasoned professional, been doing this since been doing this uh been at it for a minute but uh yeah i know as a fellow creative what uh it's definitely difficult to be able to get your music heard and uh, you spend so much time cultivating and, and and building up that craft whereas you just need some people to listen sometimes you may fall out of touch you've been creating so long you think this shit is hot but it's really not hot i'm here to tell you that let you know uh, big shout to everybody. Thank y'all so much for joining. Uh, newcomers, welcome. Those who've been returning, who are fans of the show, I appreciate you. Thank you for rocking out so long. This is the 18th week, man. I'm, I'm really proud of that. I've stuck to this for uh, a pretty long. I'm proud of myself, and I'm proud of y'all. Thank y'all for giving me a reason to log on each and every Thursday to get y'all involved. Hopefully, some of you guys have built up the courage to be able to play uh, some music this week. That would be fire. Um, and if you haven't, just continue to join with us. All I do is uh, ask that you do share this with a creative. If you if you don't intend on joining, um, share this link with a creative so that you can break them out of their shell. If you feel like their music needs to be heard, but they just quite can't get over the hump. Right. They can't get heard. They're not getting heard, not getting the feedback. You know, a lot of times we fall, we stress. Right. We're not getting the, the reaction that we want out of people. We want uh, we want to be stars overnight. Some of us, we think that this is the easy road. Major Lee was really good on the check-in. Uh, you know, you feel like, um, you know, that all hope is lost. Because uh, as creators, we tend to be really dramatic like that whenever we don't get something. Oh, I quit. I don't want to do this anymore. You know, invite those guys over here. Man, let, me, let me smack some sense into them or let them know, like, look. You don't want to do this music shit. You actually want to get get a nine to five and do that shit because it's a uh, it's a lot easier, right? Uh, but this ain't easy, and this platform is created to make it a little bit easier for those. So you got a helping hand of some advice, some tough love to show you what you need to actually do within this music shit. I'm back at it. Beautiful drinks. But uh, yeah. So outside of uh, outside of that, my week was amazing. Thank you for asking. You know, you guys are so concerned. I appreciate that. But uh, yeah, the week was all about prepping, man. Everything ain't all about music, and that's something that I realized as I begin to go into diversifying and wanting to take advantage of my business. So uh, the early days were pretty much spent on create 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 cultivate but i probably i haven't done the math but i would think that i'm a master at what i do um i've been doing it long enough i dedicated enough time to it and i um pretty much encourage all of you guys to become masters of the thing that you want to do if you don't know what to do yet i figured you know you might as well figure that out but uh within my mastery of being great at what i do um i added something else on once to become better at business. So becoming a better business person is uh, essential for growing my business and uh, ultimately building and contributing toward this legacy I'm trying to leave to my children. So um, yeah, so just doing more than music, being organized, being more uh, conscious about what you put out in this world, making sure that what you create has a place to live, right? And not just be on your computer. Um, 
Because that's like the biggest misconception. We make it, oh, we're going to give this beat to whomever. We don't build relationships. We don't, uh, we don't give the music away. We don't, we don't put the music out for people to, to hear. And, uh, by the way, I got this record that I'm just making. This one right here. It's a nice little vibe. I think I might release that tomorrow or next week, latest. But, uh, yeah. Uh, website is in the way. It's on the way. Uh, it, it's been a long time coming with that. Needed to put the website together. Again, I started this, uh, who got the aux to encourage creatives to continue to create and point them in the right direction on how to create. But for the mo in, in addition to that, you know, get you guys out of my DMs, right? But now with building my website, I have a ways for you to get into the website, right? And in the email to be able to, uh, you know, submit music, That'd probably be a later thing, but more so for my services, mixing, mixing and mastering. Uh, some of you guys have been asking for consultations, one-on-ones to listen to your music. Um, that's not so out in the open. I'm gonna create a platform for that. You guys are looking for mixing templates um, for a different DAWs. That's gonna be on the website as well. And uh, I've been toying around with it, but uh, I got some really amazing things. I'm not gonna let it, let it all out the bag right now, but I got some really amazing things um, in the works for you guys. So just stick around for that. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna announce it, but obviously the website is called theblackmike.com. And uh, that's, what, that's what we're gonna be at with it. But yeah, like I said, come one, come all. Don't just, uh, don't be shy guys. This is what we're here to do, play music. Um, I definitely want y'all to come out and really show me what y'all been working on. Um, and I'm definitely, uh, yeah, I'm excited to hear about that, but, uh, Jay, I'm in here today past the aux. I mean, request, if you ready to go, ready to play some music, I would love to hear some, uh, some sounds. So let's get that going. Um, yeah. Let me see what they got. Okay. All right, what's happening on the check-in? How do I get on my team? Well, that's a funny way to, all right, how do you get on your team? All right, really direct. How do I say this? All right, so in order to be on my team, you have to pretty much be amongst the type of people who I can work with, I can rely on. You're not only talented, and not just by talented in your own, uh, in your own words, but talented, something that we can agree on. We both can agree on, right? You feel like you're talented. I feel like I'm talented. You have something to bring toward my direct network of uh, of creatives, and I would love to be uh, to work with more creatives. I do work with enough creatives that I can handle at the moment. But um, if you can show that your talent is something that I I need around then that's it's it's real simple like it's not like a a, a one size fits all here take this application and become a part of my team sort of situation right but what it is is you have to prove to me that you're somebody worth working with right um and that's pretty much the 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 main part of it and again like i said this platform is a showcase right i'm out it's like an elevator pitch. You got my attention. You walking past. Oh, shit, they go Black Mike. I'm going to play that nigga some shit. You're not going to try to pull me to the side. I don't know you, right? What you going to want to do is say, yo, you mind if I, yo, yeah, you want to spit? Spit in front of my, J-Hood was good. Hollywood was good, Playboy. I see you kicking up. My boy got records on the radio, remixes, and all that crazy shit. He's going up. So if y'all not following with DJ J-Hood, Jersey's own, my brethren, Make sure that you do that. Tristan was good on the check-in. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's to get down with my team, you have to be somebody that not just looks up to my team but can be looked up to as a person to my team and not just by association, right? Um, somebody who has something to bring to the table. Everybody who I deal with has something to bring to the table that if it's at the table, something I need. Right. If you are 
if you do exactly what I do, like how I do it, then you just a copy. I need somebody that does something individually, right? Oh, oh, huh? Huh, what's good, bro? We in here. My brother Hud wanted to co-host with me. Manny was good on the check-in. Yeah, you have to bring something to the table in order to get down with the team. So I don't believe I've heard any music from you. So your first step is to get in, you know, jump on this live and play some music. Let me see what you're working with. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's that's pretty much it. I have to see what your sounds is hitting for, how you produce, where you are, and be able to check out your trajectory if you're going to be somebody that I work with. So let me stop. Let me turn off all this right here. Let me throw all this on mute because Hold on, I'm DJ right J. Back Hood. Hold right. on. I'm going to tap right back in, bro. All right. Okay, bet. Y'all don't understand. If y'all know who DJ J. Hood is, y'all pretty – I need to figure it out. DJ J. Hood is a Jersey Club legend amongst other legends. Um, he's going crazy. Crazy producer. He he was a dancer and put too many dances in, in full effect. Um, he cultivated this uh, Jersey Club shit, and that's my brother. That's my brother. I uh, one of the founders, no, not one of the founders, but one of the uh, sophomore members, third generation members of Brick Bandits. Anyway, uh, Fresh brought him brought him to the t DJ Fresh brought him to the table, my little brother, and uh, he's been going crazy ever since. He ain't looked back. He's still doing his thing. That man is on the radio. Uh, it's played all the time on Sirius and Hot 97. Not just any radio station. I'm talking about New York City's Hot 97 in full rotation going crazy. This is all indie. Big shout out to my brother uh, DJ Wala. Been, uh, been in cahoots and making things happen. That's another jersey on AKA heavy hitter on Sirius radio and Hot 97 going. He's crazy. He's everywhere. Like he's he's everywhere. So big shout out to them, my brothers. I love to see people doing amazing things, man. Uh, and I love to call these people brothers and um, also people that that I really appreciate to kind of that understand what hard work leads you. They have a passion for what they do and they've never they never let that limit their drive. Right. It's never circumstantial why things don't work out, not working out. Is not even a. Uh, it's not even a. It's not even in the plans. Like, you know what I'm saying? So uh, let's play Super Nintendo before you go to school. You already know. Uh. Yo, shit! I just, I just realized who that was. Get right, Makai was good, bro. Long time with it, for real. Long time with it. All right, so let me get some brothers in here. That boy ain't been here in a minute. We finna figure it out. We finna figure it out. What's going on? That boy Manny. It's been a minute. Nigga, I ain't seen you in like episode 10. Hey, look, man. I just been out here losing weight, eating healthy, you know what I'm saying? Working hard. Hey, I see that face getting a little slim right there. Okay. <laughs> okay. Fought around and I made a little bit of merch. You know what I'm saying? So, okay. Hey, look. Drop, you drop, hey, yo. Y'all yeah, better hit that man in his DM. He got that merch, man. Sexy yeah, man. He got the merch. Oh, so man. What, what's good with you, my boy? Not much, man. Just cutting mad references just and, and working a job. <laughs> hey. You gotta, you gotta get it in between shifts. You feel me? Man, look, man, we we got some stuff in the air right now. Uh, I got some good news. Hopefully, everything falls through. It will fall through. You know. Um, we like just gonna call it. We just gonna call it. We ain't gonna say hopefully. We just gonna call it. Oh yeah, all the time. It's it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. I don't know when it's gonna happen, but it's gonna happen soon. So, that's that's what I'm looking forward to. But um, shit, you trying to get into something? I mean, I think that's what we're here to do. Shit, say no more. I'm going I'm to give y'all a little something, something. Okay.
Slight, something slight be a whole fucking uh, like I feel like I just left where I'm at. <laughs> That's crazy. Hey, listen, bro, you, you have a uh, you got a, a keen sense to really dive into a whole nother world when niggas listen to your music, and it's very consistent. It's I'm, very, I'm it's, to do it. it's very consistent and it's very well done. So if I had a hat on. Hats off to you, my brother. Thank you. Thank you very much. But ready for uh, one two? might be a fluke because you've been away. You've been away for a while. I don't know if that was something that you did before you left, right? I don't know that. So one might be a fluke. You can go ahead. I'll give you some. I'll give you some before I left. Hang on. Here we go. You're not going to expect this, man. This is totally, totally different. I'm not I'm honestly not upset when you when you when you give tempo, bro. <laughs> Sometimes you got to. Yeah. Plenty of times you got to. So it yeah. I, I like those. I, I think I think we need to go in the campaign, uh get Manny the tempo, bro. Because you you don't you don't you don't drop it when you gotta pick it up. Pause. Like, that's 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 hard. I like that. Thank you, thank you. That's yo. This shit is old, man. But I'm telling you, I'll be keeping it consistent, like you say. As though you should. Hey man. But my brother, keep that motherfucking fire. I'm happy to see you in good spirits and good energy. You took the time out to come fuck with little old us. We appreciate that. Him who got the ox. Um. To hear your sound, see your face. You know what I'm saying? We see you, you dropping pounds like you, you know what I'm saying? I, I get it. I get it. It's getting hot. You know what I'm saying? 
It ain't no. It ain't over for a hot boy summer. You still got hey, time. You can say that again for real. You still got time. I get it, bro. So, but Manny, I always appreciate you for coming through, brother. I, I, I would, I, I want you to get that news that you're looking forward to get, cause you need Thank that. You, you feel what I'm saying? Without a doubt, that's gonna let me quit this job. You know what I'm saying? And do what I really, what I'm really. Hey, trying to you do. better go ham. But in the meantime. Bro, do like Eminem did in Eight Mile. You know when that nigga won the battle? What yeah. That nigga do. That man went back to work. He yeah. went right back to work. Fuck it, man. I'm gonna see what happened after that. But till then, let me go to fucking work, man. That's that's just what it is. That's how you gotta be. But you gonna see that, my brother. Always appreciate you on the platform. You already know. Take it easy. Take it easy. All right, later. <laughs> yeah. Who's next? Jump in. Let's go. Let's see who here with it. Uh, uh-huh. that boy man to be having a. I don't ever say the way you love me, and I never say it in the night, me, and I never did. Yo, I need to know what's up in here, cuz. Okay. My back, cuz. My back. How you and doing, I, my boy? It's, it's all good. I'm blessed and highly favored, man. I see you. I've been watching you for a while, boy. I've been in these shows, man. Okay, okay. Well, welcome to the platform. You already know what it is. Episode 14. So, Here's what I would like you to do, being this is your first time going live. I would like you to put your name inside the comments and say got the aux so I can pin it up and let everyone know that you are the one that's playing music. Just in case they like it, they can follow you. They can go on your platform. I mean, your, uh, your page to see what's good with you. Yes, sir. All set right there, my boy. All right. So tell me, how long? What, what are you going to be doing for us today? Play a couple tracks, you know. If it ain't highly favorable, boy, I got no one, but I ain't going to, you know what I mean? <laughs> all right, all right. Let's go with how long? How long you been produ- you producing or, uh, or or rhyming? Well, I'm rhyming, producing, managing. I got my artists and you know, all that stuff. Trying okay. to do that my LLC. You know how we do. Okay, congratulations on that. Got to get the business right. That's number one. So where you hailing from? From Rhode Island. Okay. Rhode, Rhode Island, Island, baby. I'm right next to you. <laughs> okay, Rhode Island. All right. So with that said, brother, let's just hop into it. To it, man. You got the ox. I might do. Here we go. Let's throw some more real quick. I'm going to play this track called Kind of Love. I got with my boy AK Vibe. Okay. Let me know if you can hear me good. Yeah, stand up for this one. Yeah. Turn it up. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So let me up. Uh, ha- having a little trouble hearing it. Can't hear it. Having having a little trouble hearing it. But throw it near the speaker a little bit closer. You ain't gonna be able to see me, but I make sure you can hear it better. Well, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. Satisfaction in moments blessed by ecstasy. Thank God they be waking up next to you. 
Yeah, you mine's destiny. I might not always get it right. Bet you come home knowing your life every day. Ain't that right? Ain't that right? Ain't that right? Still, I love you, though. Love our grind together. Get them girl, let's get this dough. Girls, we never spoken. We always make it grow. Never had a chance. Been known to make a show. Stay humble, bitch, on my grind. Since just a little boy. Now I'm old, young, rich, nigga. And yeah, hate this shit. Don't you bitch, nigga. Let you wish, nigga. I'm a prayer for you. Humble than that. It's only devil's wish. Trust it. I love my life. God gave us success. My favorite is this. My kind of love. Yeah. Okay. Got you. I got you. All right. So, my uh, I was having a, a bit of issue uh with hearing it mainly because um you obviously the phone can't pick up bass. So just yeah. hearing, hearing like the hot when, when you brought up to the uh, to the tweeter, I could hear it a lot better, right? All right, so that's one. Two, I want to hate on it. It's something that I do like about it, right? Uh, it's that kind of love, baby. It's that kind of love. I'm good with that part, but everything else in 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 the meantime, I would love to hear like some some other type of lyric to kind of tie that in together. If you're gonna do, if you're gonna be repeating. If you're gonna repeat lyrics, um, it's probably best to have something simple, but not as simple as that. Like I swear to God, baby, it's my kind of love. Like some other lyrics to kind of get it uh to, to lock in there. But as far as like melody, I feel like you got something there with that. Uh the rap bars, I would have I would have I would have liked to hear because you are rapping slower, I would have liked to hear a little bit more bars in there. Just something yep. solid. And within your pace, like you really don't even have to switch your flow uh, to really get that. It's just really be conscious of what you say and say more impactful things. You know what I'm saying? After every after every four to really, really just catch them like that. But one might be a fluke, my brother. Can we get another one? Oh, yes, sir. Right, right, this, one up. this one right here is with my, my artist right here, Kiki Star. She up in here right now, Kiana. Okay. What's happening on the check-in? Oh, you're going to love it when you hear it, boy. <laughs> Okay, looking forward to it. Okay. 
what I what I what I get from the way that you what I get from the way that you rhyme is is like it's really it's really expressive, right? And when it comes to expressive in 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 in, in, the, in the sense of uh, I feel like it's really it's really spoken word in that manner. It's like real real poetry in that vibe. So what is important, especially to do with any song that you like dance to, and any song that isn't like a uh, isn't like an R and B song. You have to like really get in there with the cadence of rhyming and keeping it consistent with that with that syncopation. It's imperative. A lot of your favorite songs do that. I, I'm not referring to like spoken word or anything like that. I'm talking I'm talking to like a lot of the hit records and party records. They have that that meter and cadence of of rhyming. So I feel like if once you lock that in and dial that in, with still coming coming across with with what you're trying to say, right? You don't have to alter at all what your subject matter is, but definitely be in that syncopation of of those rhyme those rhyme the rhyme scheme of things. And I feel like that's that's a bit lost with that, right? Um, and as far as like the 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 solo artist, I really I wasn't even uh, I didn't really hear the lyrics of what she was saying. I just caught the melody part because it was just a bit difficult to 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 hear that. You know what I'm saying? I just heard the beat and you for the most part, and just heard her melody part. So how long mm. how, how long you been waking, making music, my brother? Probably over ten years, but I wasn't taking it serious. Now I'm on my serious tip, trying to do the thing, you know, going okay. by the art making gear now. Yeah. So I feel like what's important now, because you are taking it serious, it's really time to be. Uh, I guess put pride aside, because you know, as as people have been doing it for a minute, they you it's you can tend to feel like you know it all, but we got to be students again to this shit. Re understand what we listening to. What's out there? Merge what we like with what's existing out there. Because at the end of the day, we're not selling music to ourselves. We selling music to a market. So if you find your niche, your market, who literally listens to exactly what you listen to, cool. You ain't got to alter. But if you're trying to cater to certain markets, you have to do research within that market and fit within that sound. You know what I'm saying? So it's constantly trying new things, studying and growing within your craft. Yes, sir. Appreciate but, that. But brother, I appreciate you for hopping on the platform, having the bravery to do that because a lot of people, you know, that for some reason they, they want to send me music, but they don't want to get on the platform. So I appreciate you for being one of those that just step out and make it happen. And uh, big shout to you, brother. You're welcome to stay. Connect with everybody else on the uh, on the platform here to learn uh, and pro possibly collaborate, man. So definitely. Yes, sir. Happen, bro. You, you already know. Later on. Yes, sir. All right, who's next? Jump in, let's go. Let's get into the next person. All right. Thank y'all for rocking, staying with me. All right. Hello. What's happening, Danny? How goes it? Happy Thursday. Blessed and highly favored. Ooh, I'm looking a little crazy. It's been a crazy week. It is what it is. Life is life, man, but you here. Yes, yes. So um, my name's Danny, for those who don't know. Um, and I'm going to play, I'm a singer, songwriter, um, and I'm learning how to produce a little bit. Um, I make remixes sometimes. Okay. Um, so what I'm going to play for y'all right now is the first song I ever recorded. Um, I recorded it, I think, in like 2017. Um, it's produced by my friend Vince. Uh, we got my friend Henry on the guitar. So um, without further ado, here we go. Oh, no, not that one. This one. Can you hear it? A little bit.
Okay. So, Danny, I was the entire time trying to catch this shit because the the meter is different on that song, right? Uh huh. It's not. It's not the consistent. Uh, like four four. It's definitely not the consistent four four. Yeah. And it uh, I can appreciate that. Cause I it, it's rare that you that you get songs like that now, yeah. Um, and every once in a while, I was getting Mary J. Blige vibes. Hey, you know what? People told me they get Sade. They said they get Sade from me, but mm, I appreciate Sade? Mary J. That's um, that's like very a very high yeah. Topic. Nah, it it, fit, it feels like uh, just the way that you kind of say certain certain words. Mm -hmm. And the melody of the song, because it's like, uh, it, it's such a, I'm thinking of My Life, Mary J. So uh, okay. it's it's really, it's really dark. And yeah. I'm, I couldn't really hear what you were saying, right? Yeah. But when I can't hear the words, I, I, I just live with the melody right. um, and, and, and dive into that. So I can't say, I'm not going to say, I, I can't hate on it. Um, there's something to get from that. You said that was your first song that you, you recorded? Yeah. And it was kind of like a, it was a very quick session. They were like, hey, Danny, I was getting ready to leave um, campus. And they were like, hey, um, we want to like, we want to give you a going away present. Um, so we recorded that. I think they already had the beat, but we, we recorded it in like 20 minutes. Okay. Okay. Well, I ain't mad at that. It, it, so it was the vibe that I was just catching. So I'm yeah. not, I'm not mad at that at all. Um, yeah. Uh, shit. Did you put that out? Is that out? Yeah, it's on my SoundCloud. Yeah, I might have to go to your SoundCloud to catch a vibe because I feel like there's some smoke there. Um, there might be. I don't, I don't just know. yeah, it, it's 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 worth revisiting because I want to I want to actually hear the nuances of it because rather than me hearing something is being lost in translation and then when I get I'll be pissed the fuck off like oh this ain't what the <laughs> fuck I thought it was but right. uh but yeah like I said man one might be a fluke. Yes. Okay. So here's the thing. Um, I actually, was... I love, I love, here's the thing. Here's the thing. It's never some shit that you want to hear, but go ahead. Well, okay. So on Tuesday was, is the anniversary, second anniversary of a good friend of mine. His name is Javon Malone. Um, he passed on oh, the sorry to hear that. of June, two years ago. And um, he is a big, big, big reason why I feel so confident in um, this whole music shit and just doing better. And um, this is something that he really, really would have loved um, and he really would have taken, you know, taken a lot from. Um, so I kind of wanted to just play one of his songs as a tribute um, because this is like his, the week of his um, passing. Um, if that's okay, I wanted to play. No, like, by all means, go on ahead. Okay, this is called Straight Out of Texas, and it's really good. Um, so, and his uh, his stage name is Cochise the Great. Um, so here we go. I might cry. So I'm gonna put this. <laughs> yeah, man, it's that real loud Texas shit. Yeah, Cochise. I studied this game, I ain't look at a book. I'm taking this fame, it was already took. Switching in lanes, I have got to rook. Feeling my pain went from ragged to crook. Burning through pain, stepping this, I'm a cook. You yeah, already know that I turned to a killer, but I can't fix the truth when I look in the mirror. I know this you bitter, but honestly quit it, cause all of your feelings ain't making this better. Not to beat out, she can call me Mayweather, but honestly, my pen is light as a feather. And when I go ahead and I have to go back, and just know that a young nigga straight out of Texas. I'm straight out of Texas. Texas, just know that a young nigga. My shit is written, don't need to rehearse. Life's with the next shit, but sometimes that hurts. It's like intuition I put in this work. My dear given the way I disperse. I guess that you gotta see it differently. Bitches really slippery, niggas really rickety. Looking at this industry, where's all the dignity? Rapping through my 
my sympathy. She sounded like a symphony. Really trying to think about it like it was a simile. Thoughts keep on a simile. I don't let them get to me. I just move around and I laugh at the assemblies. Do it for my town like a flip for like a century. Or maybe infinity. I just had to feel the beat. Maybe I would overthink. It's crazy my ability would lead me to agility. I felt the adrenaline. Knew that I would benefit. Trying to get the Benjamins. Saw it in the vision like I'm staring at a genesis. Moving like a Benedict. Separate the innocent. Knew that I was in it. Step into this any shit. Segregate the venomous. Uh, yeah. Can you see that I'm different? Know that I'm different. I just made an inference that turned into a testament. Thoughts are highly relevant. Success is kind of redolent. They just had to register. Uh. Moving with the perfect risk, pressing down on nervousness. I can not assist this shit with any of my services. I can see it meant to be in anything but purposeless. The way that I be rapping now, I know that I be hurting. Yeah, here I go with another flow. I am on my own and I'm so far gone. And now them hoes won't leave me alone. Cause most my bones are called in stone. But fuck it, who need a hook? I studied this game, I ain't look at a book. I'm taking this fame, it was already took. Switching in lanes, I have captured your rook. Feeling my pain went from ragged to crook. Burning through pain, stepping this, I'm a cook. She I already know that I turned to a killer, but I can't fix the truth when I look in the mirror. I know this you bitter, but honestly quit it, cause all of your feelings ain't making this better. Knock the beat out, she can call me Mayweather, but honestly, my pen is light as a feather. And when I go ahead and I have to go back, it just know that a young nigga straight out of Texas. I'm straight out of Texas, just know that a young nigga. anything uh if did could you hear it well i can't i could okay if you had any kind of critique or criticism for cochise if he were here um what what i mean damn i don't want to i don't want to like tarnish the dead like you know oh, god, no, no, god no, rest no. him you know what i'm saying but uh no he, he definitely has a cadence mm -hmm. he understands how to be rhythmic and on beat that's one thing yeah and he knows how to rhyme yes i just feel like he could he could make his words connect a bit more if I had any huh. criticism, it's just connecting the words. It's being able to tell a story while doing that, a cohesive story while doing that. And I feel like that'd be, that was the only thing that's missing other than that. It's like he really understands rap. And it's not like he's a fan of it. He gets it. And he has he had respect for it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So he, he, was, he was really talented, man. Again, my condolences yeah. to you and the family. Uh, yeah. You know, I haven't gone through that. But he was a talented brother, sounds like. Yeah, and and um, I appreciate you for for letting me uh, put his put his music on and um, you know just celebrate celebrate his his talent and um, to all y'all out there who you know have the passion and have the drive, don't be afraid to to come up here and show your work and get that criticism and and just even to promote and and market yourself. Do it, do it now. Tell them stop fucking playing, man. Yeah, for real. But Danny, thank you for having the courage yourself to get on this platform and play your music, your first song, and uh, even even show homage, having the courage to show homage for your uh, your fallen brethren. So you know what I'm saying bless up, and I always always welcome all of the lady creators yes. to get on this platform on, because y'all missing. Yeah. So yeah, with that said, bless up and uh, stick around. You already know what it is. Oh yeah. Gotcha. All right, later, sis. Peace. How do I? Uh... Got you. Boom. Let's get into the the next up. Let's see what he's talking about. Ah. Yo. Hi. Uh, what's up? Um, my I'm from I'm from Jersey City. My name my artist name is Bibby Poppy. Um, I'm 27 years old. I've been doing music for I don't even know how long, but it feels like forever. But this song is on, on my EP. It's called Wake Up, and this song is named Grind by me and my boy, Petey. Okay, Bibby Poppy. Can you hear it? Not really. Why, 
when it's turning down, pop it too loud. I can't hear the vocals. You say you can't hear it that good? I can't hear the vocals. Oh, uh, uh, I think it's because I'm too close. Where? If you can get to, like, the tweeter a little closer to that. I ha I hear the beat. I just don't hear the, uh. All right. Doing time. I stand up for the ones that's on their crime. Okay. That make it for the ones that want to shine. Never leave your brothers back behind. Just make sure your family on a grind. Just make sure your family on a grind. On a grind. Be on your grind, on your 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 grind. Your grind. I remember days I was fucking broke, boy. Ain't had no fucking hand. I was no fucking hopes, boy. I had to get on my grind. I can't be wasting no time. Yeah, I got a son and I got a daughter. Uh. I remember late nights I sold that water. Hey. I had to stack all this green. And fuck your bitch in between. <laughs> yeah, you can't stop me. Beat on this block like I'm Rocky. Hey. Yeah, I was told that I'm cocky. Yeah. Yeah, I was told that I'm cocky. Yeah. I miss I be free up on my mind. All my niggas locked up going time. I stand up for the ones that's on my grind. I make it for the ones that want to shine. Never leave the brothers back behind. <laughs> Just make sure your family on a grind. Just make sure your family's on a grind. On a grind. Be on your grind, on your grind. That grind. That grind. That grind. This is my boy right here. Lately, I go on my mind. Now, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. No, no, no disrespect to your boy. Hold on, hold on. Uh, no disrespect to your boy, but I just had to stop you, bro, because yeah. I thought I thought we was, he was finna hit me with one of the wholesome records, like, yeah, one of them hope records, but not fuck your bitch in between, though. That, <laughs> that right there, that right there, real talk, that right there made your song and made everything else all right. Not that I had a problem with it, I just yeah. felt like it was a record that, you know, has been done. Everybody got a record like that by Hope and, you know what I'm saying? Let, let me just say this. I, it's, I'm just saying what's true, you feel me? What I literally did, you feel me? Back, I was younger and not trying to indict myself. Times I was on the street selling drugs and stuff. And I was acting like I was that guy and messing with females and selling drugs at the same time. You feel me? I was really doing that. So yeah, yeah, yeah. My, and 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 that and that's respect. I I I just like the way like the way you did that. It just I like my I like my rappers cocky. You feel what I'm yeah. saying? I like my rappers with confidence. I like people who really are good with being themselves. Like whoever they are and whatever facet you live in. If you like, yo, this is my shit. Like, I don't give a fuck if you like it or not. This is what I do. This is who I am. And Bruh. and be slick with the talk. And that right there just got me. So, yeah, I appreciate that. Like, let me just say that I fuck with that. So, big shot to you. And thank the fact you, that you, you from Jersey City. Much Can respect, I play one Jersey. more thing? I mean, one might be a fluke. You might have to play one more thing just to yeah, make this sure one, that I, this one I is fuck just with by it. myself. And this a cover. It's a throwback. It's a throwback. And this is for the females. You feel me? I had to just play this for me. I had one for the guys, and I got one for the females. I said, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. And ladies, if y'all know this beat, <laughs> chop them hearts, please. He got yeah, the Jersey. Dangerously. I said, because I am in love with you. You set me free. 
I can't do these things for life without you here with me because I'm dangerously in love with you. Just keep loving me because I am in love with you. You already know you my bae. Hey, good fuck what a hater got say. I know you're going to ride for me. One call, you're going to slide for me. Got to have my baby back. Hey, for the love like a heart attack. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. I know what we down this road. I know that we really was chose. I know I was going to propose. Propose. Doing things. We like, fuck you good, all night, doing things, we like, fuck you good, all night, doing things that we like, I just try to give you good pie, yeah, I had to eat it all night, hit it from the motherfucking side, cause I am in love with you. You set me free. I can't do these things called life without you. Here with me, cause I'm dangerously in love with you. I never leave you. Just keep loving me the way I love you. Loving me, cause I okay. am in love with you. You set me free. I can't do these things called life without you. Here with me, cause Baby. I'm Baby. Yo. So, my only critique, I didn't like this as much as the other one. I'm not mad at it, but my only critique with this record is because you rap slower, yeah. it's important. It's important for you to hit with those bars, like to, or those lines. Like you gotta, you gotta make sure you hit me with a line like every four at least. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? Like no more than eight beats, two bars. You gotta hit me with lines because because of how you rap, it'd be way more. It, it, trust me, if you do that, it'd be impactful. You be saying some shit. You talk crazy, and it's enjoyable and it's entertaining, but I feel like uh, in this line you repeated yourself like three times, yeah, like in yeah. a row. I felt like if you would have took out them repeats and said something slick and then went yeah. into what you were saying, it yeah. just would have been even even more crazy. But you obviously got a music sense. I feel like you should uh, continue to cultivate that, man. It sounds pretty good. Right, right. I'm not mad at it, man. You ain't you ain't disrespect Jersey at all within that, and for that I'm grateful, brother. Thank you for not making us look bad. All right, thank you, man. With that said, man, stick, stay tuned around. You know what I'm saying? Check in, see if you can collaborate with anybody, and right, uh, right. see see what it's hitting for, brother. All right. All right, later. I ain't going to hold you. I low-key liked what he did with the Dangerous Lady Love shit. Not going to hold you at all. I can't hate. When shit be lingering is when you really know, like, what you really fuck with. Uh, and that's kind of... Lingering. Yeah, good job on that, brother. Who's next? Jump in. Let's go. Uh, big shout out to everybody on the check-in. Everybody just joining. Everybody that's sticking with us. I hate my brother Hugh. See what he talking about. Try to get him in here. You know, because it's always a blessing to have uh, people who are a blessing within the faction, and that guy, I don't know if y'all know about him, but he's just, he's amazing. Another Jersey native. I'm saying, now, Ron, what up? Out here, man, thank you for blessing us with your time. You probably hit this lot by mistake, but I appreciate you, my brother, my light-skinned brother. That's probably one of the coolest light-skinned niggas I ever met in my life. Like, for real, though. No bullshit. No bullshit. That's on mothers. So apparently, I don't know what's happening with Hugh. I said, uh, I'm trying to get Hugh in here. And uh, yeah, I, I don't know what's happening. So um, let's move on to the next. Let's see what he's talking about. Yes, sir. You knew this had to happen. Is that Mr. Lee? 
You know, it's me. You know what I'm saying? I had to make an appearance one time for the one time. How you been, man? I'm good, man. Yo, I love this nigga's confidence <laughs> and the way that he talk, man. You know what I'm saying? It's so slight, man. You know. Just hey, look. What I need you to do is just put your name at the bottom so they know, because I want people to follow you, right? Yeah. Just put, you know what I'm saying, Major League got the aux, and I pin it up just so they know. But nah, it's been a long time coming for sure for you, to, for you to get involved. Of course. I, I had to wait for the right time. I had to, you know, see what was I happening. mean, it's episode 18. We've been doing it for 18 weeks. You might as well get involved. You feel me? You feel me? I might as well. I might as well see what it do. Tap in real quick, see what they think of them. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, you might as well. Let's, so, 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 so let them know where you hailing from, right? How long right. you been making music? And uh, yeah, what you got going on? All right, so boom. My name is Major Lee. I've been making music really since I was around like 11 years old. But, you know, I played football for a while. You know that. So uh -huh. um, until like 2018, 2018 is really when I started taking it serious, serious. And for the past three years, I've been really perfecting my craft and trying to own in on what I want to present as a brand. So that's that. Um, you know, I've been working with you, other people as well. So, you know what I'm saying? Right, let's get to it. Let me show them what I got. Please do. Please do. All right, hold on. Can you hear it? Yeah. What's his name? I be so not mad at the energy, right? Yeah. And you find a good pocket. And although I feel like you could stay there, you always surprise me when you jump out of pocket and you hit yeah. me with another flow. That right. Love me. Hate me. Yeah. And, 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 uh, and, you, and, and again, like you, you are an example of how you barred up just enough. You ain't got to go over people's heads. I don't feel like you are. Of course. I feel like. It's it's super digestible bars. You feel what I'm right. saying? But you still talking that shit. It's a sense of confidence in there. And uh yeah, uh, needless to say that shit slap. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. 
Yeah. You know, I, at first, when I first started rapping, like, all the time I had bars that would be too complicated. And people would be like, what? Like, what are you saying? But I had to learn immediately, like, look, you can't say some philosophical stuff all the time because no one going no one gonna get it all the time at the first glance. So you know, but that's come that come with practice. You know. Nah, good shit. But again, they don't know you like I do. So one right. might be a fluke. You know what okay. I'm saying? You might have to hit it with another one just to make sure. Not for me, for them though. Oh, quick. You know I got hold on. Real quick. Give me a second. Here it is. You hear it? Okay. Hey, bro, that's crazy. Hey, Day, what up? Want to check in. Zerius, what up? On the check in. Hey, look, let me tell you something, bro. Have you ever thought about uh, writing R and B music? I already do. Say less. That's one. That's one more thing that we could tap in on, brother. For sure. That right there. I just love how how like the flows is just. Yes. It's just so effortless. See what I'm saying? Like, you have to be able to do what you do to make it seem like it ain't work. Right. That's what make niggas want to do it. Facts. Because they think it's simple. It's like, what? I think I could do that? Like, I could do that shit. Look how, right. look how this nigga did it. Like, you make it seem too easy. You make me want to rap more. <laughs> I appreciate that, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Don't get me wrong. Don't get the game. All y'all niggas, out, don't get the game fucked up. I, I could rap. I guess I'm better than you a lot of bomb, niggas. Man. I just know that. But this nigga make me feel like I, I need to know how to rap, man. So uh, yeah, Dang. I probably need to exercise that fucking with you. Nah, you definitely have me uh, inspired. That's thank you, man. I like that. That's a vibe, bro. Thank you. I appreciate it. Hey, man, 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 man. Ah, <laughs> stupid, bro. You stupid. Nah. Hey, but what do you think they gonna what you think they gonna say about uh Django? They ain't ready for it. They they really not though. They not. They really not. Can you can you just give them a little sn snippet real quick? You want a snippet of it? Just a snippet. Just a snippet. Mm, I was playing on my TV. Nah, don't don't need trip. They don't need. They don't need it right now. They don't need it right now. We don't still, need it right now. We still working on it. They don't need it right now. It's fine. It's fine. But brother, okay. I appreciate you for for getting on the platform. Uh, feel free to 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 hop on the platform again. Like I like these really good examples of of people that I fuck with. And again, it's not just about me fucking with uh them personally. It's more so about connecting to the talent. Because again, I was driven to you. Obviously, you you're one of my good friends. Uh, sons. Yeah. 
And, you know, I, I always know about, you know, you know my, my, my son know how to rap. Well, I got a cousin know how to rap. But they, they, they know how to rap. It's like, nah, bro. You really blew me away with your talent. You went in. Uh, your shit sounds amazing. Um, you. you know, and, and even still, there's still a lot of grooming to do. And I'm happy that you're humble enough to know that I'm still working on my craft. I'm still building myself up. But right. your start point is amazing, bro. It's definitely a God-given talent, man. So bless up on that. And uh, thank you for being a part of the platform, man. There's a bunch of talented people in here. Uh, pick and choose. See who you can, uh, you know, um, what's that shit called? See if you can collaborate or, or get, get down with some of that. So, nah, you know, you definitely did that. You getting hey, love in here. I might have to do a remix with the uh, Dangerous in Love with Old Dude, the last one. Hey, I ain't even going to hold you, bro, because he really... Am I tripping? Did he not have one with that? He he actually got one. No cap. Like, like he there's something about him that's like, all right, so for instance, let, let me let me say this. Like uh Trinidad James is talented, right? For example, right? He's talented, but I wouldn't jump out the window and be like, Yeah, that's my favorite rapper. But right. he definitely got some smoke there, right? Yeah. And he's consistent with the amount of smoke that he has with his shit. And you still you, you don't you don't count him out, but it's like you don't he don't be on the top of your mind. And I feel like that's or I say all that to say that the example is that that young man that was just on I think his name was Bibby, um, who was just on he there's some smoke there that needs to be cultivated. And uh, yeah, like I ain't all the way sold on his shit, but mm -hmm. he but definitely had the, me the potential there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big facts, big facts. And that's what I was trying to convey to him. And uh, thank you for helping me. Uh, fully convey that and, and, and just verify that I'm not crazy and I ain't just had too much to drink. Oh, man, of course. What you been sipping on? I sipping on, you know what I'm saying, that honey jack with the, that honey jack with that Publix uh, blueberry lemonade. Ooh. Y'all very with jack? It's not. Uh, the honey jack. Yeah. Honey jack with the blueberry lemonade. I'm going to get it tonight. I'm going to have to see what it's about. I'm going to have to see See what's to that. And while you at that, get that Publix uh banana banana uh banana pudding ice cream, bro. Ooh. I ain't gonna hold you, bro. Uh what's the name had that shit in his story? Um uh my brother AO had that shit in his story and he was he was gassing it. I was like, man, whatever. I went there, got that shit, smacking, bro. Smack. I might fuck around and get some shit after this. I ain't gonna hold man. you. I'm, I'm supposed to be going to turn up. I might have to bring the bottom to the spot. You feel what I'm saying? Feel me? I might have to. Like, if it's cut like that, I'm going to see what it's talking about. I'm going to see. You know what I'm saying? Why not? But, yeah, we in the building, brother. Thank you always for passing always. through and blessing for your amazing talent. Uh, you are amazing, and I appreciate Thank you. you. Thank you. I appreciate you, too, man. I'll see you later. All right, brother. All later. All right. Bye, 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 bye. That boy got flows, man. That boy got flows. That boy good. That boy good. Stella Rose, isn't that wine? I don't be drinking wine. I do drink champagne on Sundays when it's mimosa Sundays. Uh, for sure, we'll definitely hit you after this. Um, wine sometimes, um, but I drink plum wine. Because uh, I like alcohol uh, and spirits to taste nice. I don't um, I don't like just hard liquor because I'm not that kind of guy. So that's me and that's that. Yo, Mr. On a Mission, good, brother. what's good with you? I'm blessed, brother. You know me on, on the move and shit, man. Just had to drop my peoples off at the airport. I believe it. I, I I I know what them drops is like. I got I got to make that drop in the morning. My man on the mission. He got the intermittent service. Cause I know driving through the neighborhood. Right, hey, bro, look. Tap in. Much love to all. Of I'm gonna tap back in when I get a better um service. I'm gonna hit you tonight though, bro. What happened? I said I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call you um later tonight. I don't want to interrupt the show with this bad service and shit. Oh, say less. You already know what it is. I, I already figured that that was the move. But later on, bro, drop safe. All right, All right definitely. 
All right, who's next? Jump in. Let's go. Yo. Yo, what's good with it? Shoot, not much, not much. How's it going? I'm blessed and highly favored, brother. Uh, I do have to ask you to put your uh, your at name at the bottom and say got the aux so I can pin it up and uh, let people know that it's you. Just in case your music is amazing, they might want to know who to follow, right? Right, right. All right. <clears throat> Boom. So uh, let me know what your name is, where you hailing from, how long you've been creating music, and what type of music you'll be playing today. All right, I go by Romero Rosé, and I've been making music for uh, since 2018. Okay. And uh, I'm from Indiana. I'm in Indiana right now. I'm from Arkansas, but I'm from I'm in Indiana right now. Gotcha. So I'm just making music right now. So I'm a, a rap R and B ish artist. Try to I rap majority. I've been trying to cross over to R and B a little bit, so I'm gonna go a little bit. Okay, let's let's let's, let's get uh, into it then. I'm gonna play a little bit of R and B. Let me know if you can hear it. Okay, uh, Romero. Yo. So it's some. All right. So first of all, let me, let me say this. I I like. <laughs> I don't know if I like the song, but so far I, I I see potential in your uh in your rhymes. You sound. I like I like what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> Because it's, it, it's real and it's expressive. Like, to have the courage to say the things that you're saying, like, on some real shit. Because, again, it's difficult for niggas to be, uh, to be emotional or just expressive like that. And you're doing it through song and you seem like a tough dude. Uh, right. You kind of remind me of, uh, of Kevin Gates. Kevin Gates. <laughs> real shit, though. Just oh, yeah. How, how authoritative, like, you sound on, on the joint. But I really would like to hear... <clears throat> 